Well, Gareth, despite last Saturday ending defeat at Southampton, there was plenty of positivity given the performance. How important is it that we follow that up with a result of Middlesbrough now? Yeah, like, I can't stress how pleased I was with the boys. Just finish those chances because um, you deserve something out of that game. Russell Martin was very magnanimous, is it the word, on the, afterwards in the, in the press and saying, um, you know, QPR deserves something. Um, I think he was... He was correct in that. I think we probably deserved all three points at one stage. You know, we we, uh, we had those chances in front of the away fans who were brilliant, by the way. Thank you so much for your support. You were awesome. Um, really got behind the boys and they felt it. They felt it on that day. And, and we, we drowned out 27,000 Southampton fans, you know, which was brilliant to hear. So, uh, no, it was, a, it was a great performance. Uh, the difference after the game was the boys were devastated. They hadn't won a game, whereas in previous years they're probably devastated because they lost the game not having won a game it's a really different feeling and they feel like they deserve something they feel it's coming um yeah some real good performances on that day and uh, i'm really looking forward to middlesbrough now although again another game away from home it's hard you know this, this start has been hard with the away games and, and the pitch obviously just we're protecting that so we can hammer it and uh, and we've got some home games coming which is great but um I think looking at Coventry last year and their start was very similar, you know, and, uh, but they went on to do great things and, uh, and I'm, I'm positive that we, uh, we can start winning some games and, and climbing this table. International break coming up, are you, are you pleased to see the break or would you rather have another game next week given where performances are going? I'm pleased to see the break if all my players were here and just staying and, and we could just monitor them, ramp them up for the Sunderland game, but um, we have about 10 called up, you know. Um, I think uh, Ken, Stevie, and Ozzy going long ways, and and you know Lyndon Sinclair's and Ilias's, and I mean there's there's a lot called up, you know. There's there's a uh, and and we should be proud of that, you know. Playing for your country is such a big thing. Uh, I, I'm you know, I was I was never lucky enough to do it, but um, wow, I'll never stop anyone doing that. That's a really big thing, and uh, and they should be proud, and QPR should be proud of them. Please, boys, come back fit and healthy because uh, we need you. You know, we definitely do. And, uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing how they get on. Um, I won't be travelling anywhere to watch anyone, but um, in the day of uh, technology, you can, you can watch more or less all of it. On, uh, but I'll just be uh, hoping for a win Saturday against Middlesbrough and then everyone come back injury-free from uh, international duty. That'd be, a, that'd be a nice couple of weeks for me. Saturday's host, Middlesbrough, will want to be anti post favourites for promotion, but they've had a difficult start. Does this make it a bit more difficult in some ways? Um, listen, they're a good side, you know, they're a good side. They, they, they have been billed as, as promotion favourites, along with Southampton and Leicester. All I'll say is, look what we did to Southampton, you know, at their place. And, and we, there's no reason we can't go up to Middlesbrough and perform exactly the same. I say, a couple of goals away from winning games, you know, and, and Ipswich at home and, and we... we Really, I think the performances have warranted a few more points than we've got. Um, but we've got to stick the goals in the net. That's what the, that's what the football's all about, you know, and there's different ways of doing that. Um, yeah, looking forward to going up there, obviously. It's a, it's a long way. Um, it's transfer deadline day, which is... I've got my own opinions on this, this, this crazy, crazy day, what they've put it on. But, um, yeah, really, really positive. I know there'll be a, a host of travelling QPR fans going up there, getting right behind us. Thank you again. Please get behind us. Let's join in this uh, this shift of, of playing, the shift of culture here, and uh, and really enjoy what what QPR is becoming. Because uh, I'm I'm really excited. Just on team news, with the exception of Jimmy Dunn, are you heading somewhere near a fully fit squad now? Yeah, very near. Lyndon outside, Chris Willock outside, Jake Clark's ultra outside. All training this week, so they're good signs. You know, um, we've got to make sure that. You know, there's no breakdowns, there's no reoccurrences. That was horrendous last year, and and uh, and Jimmy's probably the only long termer. But even him, after the two weeks, he's probably looking forward to the international break more than anyone because there's no game and it gives him another week to get back. So Jimmy's close, um, but everyone else is uh, is really up to scratch. And uh, and like I said last week, the uh, the performance is what I want again. I want them to perform like that again. I want them to give that. They emptied the tank on the pitch and that's that's all I've ever wanted as a manager because the other bits we can add will win games, but they have to empty the tank again and, uh, and I'm sure they will do. Can't let you go without asking about the, the transfer window which shuts on Friday night as you alluded to. Everyone knows where 
we are in terms of finances, but how likely are we to see movement between now and then? Yeah, listen, I don't want to get everyone excited and say there's 10 players coming in. We, we, we'll probably have a, a quiet, quiet one, quietish. I don't know. Um, I want to keep the best players at this football club. That's, that's important because we need those. But also, if there is a right player, right price, um, you know, right time, um, we, we, won't, we wouldn't, you know, just dismiss that. We've got to, we've got to play within the rules, but also um, we, can, we can hopefully get, get you know, get, get things done, get, you know, maybe, um, maybe get some, some real bargains or, or something to, to add to the squad. But I'm really happy where I am, you know, the squad's very good. I want to keep the best players here. 11 o'clock on a Friday night is a crazy, crazy time for the window to close. I'm hoping that we're not the club that I have to go and knock on somebody's door in the hotel and say, you have to go here for a medical or, or this has been agreed. Um, it's going to be mental. There's teams all over the country traveling. Um, there's going to be medicals done. Docu signs all right nowadays. You can do things over the internet, but actually physically getting players to clubs, this is going to be mayhem. There's, you know, we're, we'll be setting off lunchtime tomorrow for Middlesbrough. There's still 12 hours of the window left, you know. Every text message that got us on the bus will be all suspicious of who's, who's that. But um, it's exciting and that's what, that's what, um, that's what transfer deadline day is. But um, 11 o'clock on a Friday night before a game, it's a crazy time that I, I feel, you know, I think it could have been done um, Thursday at the actual end of the month. I don't know why they give it the extra day, but the powers that be will know why. Um, like I say, everyone hopefully will be tucked up in bed, ready for the game on Saturday against Middlesbrough. Let's go.